Hey everyone. Welcome back to Final 76. I gave my house a house number. Also, I cut down on a, a lot of stuff here. Um, I decided to start the stream. How do I see stream? The video at base. So, I went over budget and buy a lot, trying to add defenses. As you can see, the budget in the upper right. You don't have room for a lot of stuff. Um, so what I did is I moved my crops basically to one or two of each one here, a couple of corn. Um, I put those stands here and there with two turrets on them each. This one's pointed more this way. This one's pointed more this way. That way they have like a kind of an overlap in like this direction. And then I have three turrets on top, one pointed that way, one pointed this way, and then one pointed kind of out that way. That way, uh... We have kind of coverage over this whole unit. These two turrets there and there, they can get behind that. So if anyone decides to just like kind of sit here and, and wallop it, they're gonna have a bad time. I mean, right here would be like a kind of thing that would be really up close, kind of be an awkward thing to do. Um, but anyway, I did that. Moved the water purifier here. Put my generators on top there. That way everything's kind of just out of the way. Um, everything's kind of consolidated around that area there. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot of room for, you know, placing stuff down, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but I went ahead and did a little interior work as well to close this. So uh, I dropped some stuff here. You can see I dropped a lot of stuff. Some spoiled stuff, some scraps, some ammo, all that fun stuff. I also attempted to see if you could just add like a toolbox or like an ice box or something, but no, they're all fucking stashes. So I literally cannot not have them be a stash. Let me double check. Nope, no settings to change them to something else. Cause I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I can bypass the whole stash limit at 400 if I put items in normal boxes and lock them. And that way I can you know, have a little bit extra storage but, uh, it'll be just unsafe. And that way I can put, like, food and stupid stuff like that in there. And then I can save a stash for, you know, weapons, armor, and materials. Um, unfortunately not. Nope. Literally just the stash box. I also tried the shelf to see if I could do anything with that, but it literally has no interactable stuff on it. I hung up a flag. Um, and then up top here, like I said, uh, I got the generators going. Uh, pumping out that uh, 20 power, so I can power that and that with some to spare. And then uh, you know, I got rid of this couple of layers here. I decided, fuck it. The only way someone's going to be able to get up to my base is if they have the marsupial mutation. Because there's no high rocks or anything. And I mean, if they try to jump from like, oh, whatever, I mean, they can get like maybe as a normal person here, and then up to here, and then up to here, I guess, if they really wanted to. But the turrets would be fucking shredding them. At that point. And there's nothing my base to take or deal damage to or anything anyway, so I mean, whatever. Um, you know, when I got back here, uh, if you remember, the people had like ruined my crops, ruined my door, all that stuff, but uh, it's all back up and running now. I just figured I'd kind of show you all that. I also cut down some weight in my inventory by editing the marksman rifle and the uh, pump action. The pump action no longer has a full stock on it, as you can see. It has a short stubby stock. It still has the same damage, it's just the uh, hip fire is gonna be different now. Uh, for this marksman rifle, I changed the stock up from like a true stock or something like that. That weighed like an extra three pounds down to like, no, I changed the barrel, sorry, the true barrel to this barrel, which uh, increases recoil, but also weighs three pounds less. So yeah, I figured, why not? Fun, fun, right? Also, these Vertebird signal grenades, which uh, I got disconnected, so we no longer own this. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen if we throw these. Also, got 15 throwing knives left. Mm. Anyway, I made some juice and stuff from all the extra materials I had to kind of free up some space um, in my inventory and all that. And I don't think I have anything to get hunger, do I? I think I messed a well on hunger, huh? Okay. No, oh, whatever. I also killed myself three times. 
um, to get my health up to a decent level. And that's as far as I had grenades for, so I killed myself three times to increase my uh, HP, basically, to this point. And uh, from what it looks like, um, I think you can go all the way with it. So if you just keep killing yourself over and over, that might be a way to get more health without having bad mutation radiation issues. Uh, you, you keep your mutations, but you don't lose out on your health. So you get a cool mutation, you uh, kill yourself until you have full health again. <laughs> yeah. And then you can get more mutations by getting more radiation. Yeah. I think we'll you know do that. So I'm going to keep some grenades on hand just to uh, do that. I'm also going to use this gun because I need to use this fucking 5mm ammunition. Also, I've got like, yeah, I got like a thousand rounds of this fucking five millimeter ammo for this gun, and it's just obscene. Hmm. I'm gonna unlock that right now. Reload. Damn it. Seriously? What the fuck is wrong with me right now? There we go. Oof. Maybe I should put a sight on this. Because I am having a hard time hip firing with it. Damn little fucking robots! That's right, assholes, die! Oof, oy vey. There's a couple of players over there. Not that it really matters. Um. It can't really hurt me while we're doing a mission like this, so... I think that's all those little assholes, so... I can actually work on grabbing stuff now, and we actually have time to finish this one, which is great. Oh, more of them. Grab that, please. Thank you. Grab that, please. Thank you. Another manager card. Don't know what that's for. It bothers me. It should be everything. With some despair. There we go. Wait, one dehydrated beef stock missing? The fuck is it at? There we go, I got it. No! Oof. Okay, activate the food, so the food processing machine, my god. Let's go ahead and tap that button. Activate it. Can 
now we gotta defend these things here. There's one up there, a couple down this way. God damn. Here, this might be the best vantage point to get all these. Yeah. Gotta reload. Oh, no we're eating today. Mole. We're eating mole. Water pressure valve. And effect. No friendly vertebrae can respond. That's what I thought. That's too bad. Gotta go ahead and just drop those then since they went like five pounds. Did someone else use those? Or are they dropping supply packages? First time I did this, I did not have the uh, proper guns to manage doing this, so it was a very not good day. Ah, I can't get up there. Well, I can get up here though. Boom! Yeah, got hops. Fucking love this mutation. Circuit breaker overload. Where's the circuit breaker at? Over there. Hit it, my dude. Nothing there. 
Okay. I don't know why they were all following at the same time. I guess right here might be a good position. I can shoot them from down there and up here. For these two anyway. That one's already broken. Yeah, never mind. I'll just uh, stay defending number two then. I like how we went through almost 500 rounds of ammo doing this. God damn. Four, three, two, one. Victory! Not perfect, though. That's unfortunate. Now it's just cooling down again. Did I, uh, get nothing for that? Whatever. Um, I'm leaving now. I want to check this power armor spawn down here, see if uh, anything actually spawned good, or if it's still just shite. On a positive note, we don't have to hear that guy's minigun over there just keep going off from machine gun to hell of us. triggered. Ah, fuck! I don't know what I got stuck on, but okay. Oh. Someone decided to just take the armor and leave the frame. That's fine. I'll take the frame. So let's check in the, uh, the airport once real quick. We kind of go up, gotta go up that way anyway for to learn about the project there. Uh, we forgot to that on it. We also got some hollow tapes to listen to. Light her up. Okay, gang, the boss wanted me to leave you some instructions. Where the kids run this line so you can your hands. We're gonna light this place up today. The holes are drilled, so just get the dynamite packed in and wire it. Make sure everyone's safe distance this time. Tommy, you do not touch the plungers. Got it? You're the reason we're down two guys this month. Carl, you're in charge. Don't fuck this up. We already listened to that one. Right. My name is Maria Chavez. And I am about to die. Scorched have overrun our defenses. They're coming for us all. If you find us, listen carefully. We were called the responders. After the bomb fell, we tried, tried to help people. Maybe I can still help you. The turn on your body. If it's still there, use it. Learn about the inoculation project. Damn it. it might just save your life. They're here. I'm out of time. Read the terminal. Learn about the scorched. <sighs> and good luck. <gasps> no power armor, okay. Yeah, the fucking spreads awful on it now. God damn. Okay, out we go. You, 
Okay, I'm gonna go this way now. Oh, there's a turret up there. Huh. Terminal says. Uh, patrol bulletin. Resource requests. Messages. Eh. I think I'm already seeing the rest of that. We got a couple more of these, right? Yeah, dispatch. It's been a hell of a week, I tell ya. We lost more good people fighting off those damn scorched things again. Now I got Shabbos telling me we're picking up a new radio signal. Someone's asking for help. She wants me to take my team and follow it till we find them. Can't be too far. Already tracked it gaining strength south of here. Problem is, we have to go straight on through Raider country to find them. And I don't have the time or men to spare right now. So, I hate to say it, but I gotta tell her it ain't gonna happen. Not now. My team's the last line of defense. And if I take him on some wild goose chase, we're leaving ourselves open for another Christmas blood situation. And you can bet your ass I ain't gonna let that happen again. Even if it means someone out there might need us. Oh, man, a lifetime's changed. That sucks. <sighs> Damn it. There we go. Oh, I was power armor for a second there. I was like, what the fuck? How did I miss that? Miguel's terminal. What is it? It's got. Hold on, what? Unless you manage to remote storage device. Okay. Safe is unlocked. Okay. Whatever works. So nothing. Okay. Tasks. Okay. There's some power armor upstairs. We also got more stuff to listen to, so, uh... Camp guide? Oh, what? Execute? Following responder production models. Volunteer bot. Poison control bot. Um... Okay. So I can find something of that. I can run this on them or something? Interesting. Anyway, we have uh, this one. Hey everyone, this is Derek. Making my final report on the events at Harper's Ferry. Hopefully this reaches you all safely. Whatever happened here, it, it was big. Hilarious, it's, it's devastated. If any of our people survived, I, I can't find a trace of them. I talked to some of the locals. They say creatures came from the sky and laid waste to the town. Some of the ones who got hurt in the attack were transformed or something. They apparently turned into monsters and attacked anyone they could reach. Riley says he and his people are gonna seal themselves up in their bunkers and try to figure out a way to fight these creatures. In other words, we won't be getting any more help from these free states guys. Maria. I was hoping you could get in touch with Ella. See if maybe she can lead. 
lean on Raleigh a little. Get him to see that this isn't the way. If you ask me, I, I think it's damn selfish of them to turn their backs on the rest of us. On people who need their help to survive. Uh, there's nothing else I can do here. Guess we can scratch Harper's Ferry off the map. I'll be heading back soon. I want to check in on some of the farms along the way. Should be about a week. Fuck. Is that alarm going off? Uh-uh. No. -uh. No. Fuck me. Collision course. Yeah, no shit is gonna attract attention. The fucking Scorch Beast! So the last Scorch Beasts that I've seen were level 50. See if these are any different or if they're the same thing. Check the toolbox real quick. Fuse, okay. Got nothing. Oh! Motherfuckers! Oop. Thought it was outside. Hold on. for more enemies. Oh, that's great. I was just in there, right? No, I wasn't in that one. Oh, hooray. Really? You wanna stop shanking me with that fucking knife, my dude? Seem to come from that direction. Do there's nothing like repair for like turrets or anything around here, huh? side now or I 
Hey, level 20. Oh, while we're waiting, we got some more hollow tapes, right? Um. All right, we're recording. Good, because now we can get on record that I think this idea is goddamn loony. I'm not thrilled about sending our people into a place that's actively toxic either, but there are whole towns down there we still haven't reached out to. Welch, Beckley, Ramwell. Let's go! Got him. I understand what I'm asking. Tell you what you ought to do. You ought to give him a name. A name? Green Beret, Smoke Jumpers, Navy Seals. You want someone to sign up for dangerous duty, needs to be some prestige behind it. You give him a name, a new designation, extra rations maybe. I'll guarantee you get the volunteers you're looking for. Hmm. Hmm. Any suggestions? Huh. Well, Gramps was a moonshiner. Made Hooch so strong, normal folk couldn't come within a quarter mile of it. <sighs> Everyone called him and his boys the fire beaters. Brazilian sons of guns. What about that? I suppose we don't need to go with the first idea we come up with. But for now, I'd like you to reach out to those firemen. Convince them to get on board with the, the fire breathers. Let them know it's important. Prestigious. Oh, Lordy, I think she likes it. <laughs> I'll work on getting them a place to train. The fire department seems like the most rude spot. Certainly won't have to travel far to get yourselves into trouble. Good. We should get started. Come on, load the fucking loot, you yeah, bastards. I think they've suffered enough. Oh, let's wait to load the loot. I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, open up perks and level the fuck up. Hear about the lost pharaoh? He just wanted his mummy. Ah, <laughs> killed me. Okay. Well, this is the last level of perception I can get, and then it'll be ten. Um... Science! Crap energy guns, huh? Hey, yeah, let's grab the tier 2 gunsmith. Oh, right, because hacker's there right now. Okay, boop, and then. Oop, I guess. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, I need both of them. That's dumb. See, it should be one thing for the lockpick skills. 
Don't you think? Still nothing? What the fuck? Guess this fucker's bugged, huh? Oh well. I gotta learn about the fucking project here anyway. Might as well try to do that before uh, anything else happens. Wasn't I up here once already? Nope. I guess I just didn't read the terminal? Well, that works. Okay, Scorched Research. Anti-Scorched Attack It. Tick, 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 tick. Wait, how did I get a 44? Whatever. The soldiers encountered the creatures in the south of the east. First, nobody believed what they could describe it was real. It was a bullshit story about giving the Brotherhood an excuse to come into our ammo. It's implied we were wrong. Um, we strictly not, they're not nocturnal. Also seem equally willing to move along or in small groups. They're highly aggressive. Um, we can never, if we ever get a hold of one for study, think we've learned a lot, of course, the time being, Scorpies are near a certain death sentence, just because of radiation, we'll cover more in the next entry. Okay. Scorched flag. Whatever. Uh, project announcement. Okay, exciting news, I mean, Dr. Hudson has been continuing her, the ABR medical. Well, she just reported to let us know that she's made a significant breakthrough. Looks like she could, you know, in relation against the Scorched flag, could become a reality. Your fingers crossed. Okay. Anything? And we got uh, this pistol or that one. So let's. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oop. I meant uh, that and then that. There we go. So, ignore target storm. I still have no idea what the little star icons next to the uh, thing mean. Those little, uh, like, diamonds, I guess. Not stars, diamonds, my bad. But yeah, I have no idea what those mean. Where those guys are going to? Event. The battle that never was versus. Oh, as in people fight each other there. Okay. We gotta go back down to there. Oh boy. Well, we have the elementary school, which is over here, so let's go. The hell? The fuck is all this? Just is this where they just dump the scorch bodies? Let's go ahead and just ignite that real quick. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and burn the fuck out of them, huh? Ammo box. Yeah, fuck water. My only weakness. Oh! Cleared it. Yeah, boy. You feels a player setup shop up there? Oh, it's glowy or... Oh, never mind. Might be just a lighting glitch then. Ah, shit. Barrels. Let's go, bitches! Come on! Get my radiation up! Let's do this! Give me another mutation! Let's go! That's what I thought. Oh. Ah! And you're dead. 
Do I not have my throwing knives equipped? I did not. Huh. That's why I did a power attack right there. Great. Good to know. Okay. Okay. We're going shotgun for this area. Nothing here. Room's clear. Man, I whiffed that first shot, didn't I? <laughs> Morgantown? many entrances and exits to places, man. <gasps> I'm level 20! Oh! I can get power armor! Wait, is that 20 or 25? I think it's 25. It's probably 25. God forbid I'd be able to get power armor now. Maybe if I get some raider stuff? I think raider stuff is a little bit cheaper. Question mark? Anyway... I think what I'm going to end up doing. And if they stay like that for too long, they oh, sort of um, burn up from the inside out. The Suvi is in reverse. Oh, we learned this one already. I wondered what could possibly cause all this. And then I got my answer. It swooped down from the sky, screeching, breathing, infecting everything. I don't know how to fight this. But we need to consider all our options. Even the nukes. We find the source of this scorched plague and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. Looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculum. So, while we load back into here, um, so it sounds like the petrified corpses weren't radiation or caused by, like, when the bombs dropped anyway. Um, it sounds, from what it is, is they're scorched that the disease has, like, taken over, essentially. And, uh, what the disease eventually does, and why the scorched um, stand still sometimes is because they're going to end up like that. So that's their version of going feral, pretty much, from what I uh, understand there. Uh, anyway, I fucking pop the fire out of here. I don't know why I have two of these. Let's see. Um, I need to look at. I think it's entry three. Overseer's personal journal. I was in my junior year when I got the news that Mom died. Mining accident. Everyone in West Virginia has a story like that in the family. You just... You never think it's gonna be you. Dad was in pieces. I started living in the library mostly. And I was already there most days to begin with. And Evan... Mom had introduced us just a few months before. She graduated a year ahead of me, just went right to work in the mines. So handsome. 
Oh, and those arms. What West Virginia girl could resist all that? I can't believe he stuck with me. After the funeral, I didn't want anyone around. But there he was, showing up in the library after the shift with the lunchbox for us to share. Every day. When the career fair came, and I met the people from Vault Tech, it was like a light turned on. Protecting families, protecting their future, protecting America. The first thing I did when I got the acceptance letter to Vault Tech University was head over to Mom's home with my dad. He was happy I was staying in West Virginia. So was I. <laughs> Now I'm overweight. Great. Oh, I win. I don't think there's any winning that unless both X and O are stupid. And O can get it either there or there. And X can get it there or there. So O would have to go here block X, and then because X or O has that one, X would have to go here, which means they win. Yeah. X wins this game! There's no way X can lose that game. Because either O has to go here or here. And either way, they lose. Huh. Damn. That's cool. I got keys to the principal's office. Where the fuck is the principal's office? <laughs> that was so weird. See that person just kind of standing there. Kind of threw me off for a second. I was like, what? I was like right about to fucking open fire on him and shit too. Hmm. Science lab. The weird thing is I never even heard her like fire. Tech University is the next one I gotta go to. Okay. I didn't see that. Staff lounge, I guess? Is this the principal's office? Oh, right. I can't hack that. I can pick that, though. Oh look, more technical data that I don't know what to fucking do with. I'll do something with it eventually. Eventually. I don't know what, but it'll be something. So it's the home ec room? Before we go in there. There we go. Fucking wingo without shot, goddamn. 
moving along. Passed through Homek. Go out through here. Was that one room the president principal office? Presidents. Gah. I'm assuming this just leads me out to Appalachia again. Under glue. Yeah. Leads me back here. That's there. Ah, principal's office key. Excellent. Wonder glue! That was worth it by itself. Mountain honey. Pack of cigarettes. Ooh, a safe. Nothing too good. Principal's safe key. Oh my god. I just want the bottle caps. No, I don't want the... Yeah, fuck you. All right, back upstairs, real quick. Back through Homek. Eh, I guess this is a little library. Right over here. There's some more classrooms, it looks like. science lab. A note. Straight A's! Oh my god! Bert did it. He stole Principal Larry's office key. We're lucky we got... Uh, we'll be able to slip in there after class and change our grades. After the bell at 3 o'clock, grab the key from the locker next to the showers and meet us at his door. Straight A's, here we come. Connor. Ah, uh, what a beautiful, beautiful child thinking he's going to get away with that. What a dumbass. Alright, um, I guess we can go to the roof. Certainly wouldn't hurt to have a look out that way. Eh, no. Eh, there we go. Back at Appalachia. Anytime. Okay. Anything cool up here? Looks like a big fat fucking no. Actually, looks like a maybe. More like looks like a big fat fucking no. Okay. I like how there's a kickball up there, like a basketball. Like a classic thing where uh, kids' balls would go to the roof of school when they were in recess and stuff. Kind of funny. There's also just a thing out here. Okay. Alright, um, what do we got here? We have Back on the Beat, and we have Feed the People, huh? I haven't done the Back on the Beat one yet. Let's take a look at that one, shall we? Stop T-posing, you little bastards. Charged and 
ready for action. If you're in Morgantown, go ahead and activate him so we can check the alarms on the stash rooms. Just make sure he doesn't take too much damage. I've got enough for as it is. Airport. Two trade port. Goods. And supplies. Responder, emergency supply, location, M1, alarm system detected, initiate remote, interface, interface secured, initiate, testing, routine, warning, defensive will be offline during the test, please ensure no harm comes to this unit. <coughs> Yeah, boy. Safe room, secure and ready for use. Lock disengaged. Proceed to the next destination. There is nothing here. Excessive adhesive, yeah, boy. Are their health so high because this guy's 40 fucking one? Or what? I don't get it. The responders need you. Move, Steelheart, move. Has a trash can on him. That's fucking great. That was fucking amazing. Oh my god. Interface secured. Initiate testing routine. Warning: Defensive systems will be offline during the test. Please ensure no harm comes to this unit. Excuse me, I had a grenade. Here we go. Safe 
room secure and ready for use. Lock is engaged. Commence maintenance on location identification marker. The responders need you. There is nothing here. A pipe pistol. Okay, basically, like, don't worry about anything. Maybe I'm not fully hitting them because, like, uh, the sink's off a little. Oh, man. That was the next, the bank. Come on, Steel Heart, let's go, boy. Oh, fuck. I need to drink some water. Did not mean to drink that dirty water, but okay. Emergency supply location in three. Alarm system detected. Initiate remote interface. Interface secured. Initiate testing routine. Warning, defensive systems will be offline during the test. Please ensure no harm comes to this unit. The fuck, you just came out of the fucking top there? Ah, damn. Uh. What? How? He only touched twice. The fuck? Boy? What a waste of time. Yeah, fuck that gun. I was so dumb. He had like perfect health, and then all of a sudden he's just dead. <laughs> That's all you had duct tape on you, you motherfucker. I don't know how I killed that one from there, but okay, whatever works, my dudes. Got him. This will be faster. <laughs> I'm just a fucking Spider-Man at this point, okay? God damn. Okay, just an oil spill here on the ground. Normal. Ooh, uh... 
History of Morgantown. Is that Max doing explosive shit over there? Skin were falling off. Only the most powerful student houses were able to keep order among their ranks. This was only possible by eradicating smaller groups of student survivors and stealing their supplies. Every dose of Rataway kept the powerful elite at the top of the food chain. Even now I'm in hiding on a roof somewhere far away from most of the other kids. There's one guy on the roof next over that I sometimes talk to, but we usually keep to ourselves to not attract attention. I think his name is Vector. <laughs> Fuck just hit me! Seriously? Hold on. I'm not addicted. Oh, whatever. Anyway, can we go? Was there one in the fucking bathroom or something? Oh, you're a mole rat! Give me your meat. I'm running a little low on food supplies here. Up and away! Entry four. What did I get? The troubleshooter's metal right arm. I already have a star right arm. Damage from animals. Hooray. I'm about the same rank anyway, too. Two. Blah. So, I've already kind of ran through all of Vault 70, not Vault, Vault Tech University, not bad. And uh, there's not a whole lot here of like value at all. It's mostly just uh, 
a university. It's like a classroom, a school. There's nothing here. There's dick, to be real honest. Um, but we'll go through it real quick here. I don't have to look around too much since I know where things at. Uh, goes out to Appalachia. We need to go back down to this floor. That goes back to Appalachia too. Automated research terminal. I feel like I've looked at this before. I'll halt a program when you prove a faculty no gaming on it. Hmm. Just a dorm, common area, one of the two. Just an exercise area, huh? Can I use any of this? Oh, I can. <sighs> Investigate Wataga? Where did I get that thing from? 20 pound dumbbells. <laughs> Back out there as well. Need to check this wing then. Ah, here we go. Got him before I can fucking start lunging. Now you gotta do it. so much easier to kill ferals with, like, either shotguns or melee weapons. I don't think this does anything, even if I get into it. I don't remember, though. So, Kill and Felt had the same one, so I'm assuming that middle L there is correct, which means, given the ones I have left, it'd be Gulf, right? No, because Good doesn't have anything in common. Um, Felt? No, I already tried Felt. Fuck me. Uh, that's slid either. Which means, if those ones... Um, those are the only ones that have L as the third slot. L is not the third slot one. And instead, there is just, uh, um, either one has a K, I Okay, hold on. It could be keep. Got it corrupted. Yep, that was so fucking useful, wasn't it, guys? Oh, at least all the ghouls should be dead in this area. food. Uh, we got a safe. Ah, requires three. Damn it. Special starch. Yeah. Eh. Alright, I was gonna look and see what it actually cost to make vegetable starch, so I can start seeing if I need to build stuff for that. Good day to you! Screening here. Accessible door. This looks like it's just the showers, I think. And then up here, 
And over here... That's inaccessible. It's just a view down there. 90% certain this just leads back out to vault -Tec University. Yeah, it does. Okay. We don't need to go down here, then. Or up there. Whatever. So my AP's not draining, and I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to keep holding shift and running. Okay, there we go. I finally decided to start going down. So we got some bedrooms in here. Oh, vegetable starch. Excellent. Nothing there. Okay. That's the Overseer, which has another exit out. But real quick before we leave. Out of the way. Out of the way! It says open, so you gotta be able to open it, right? You'd think that. I don't know. I never found it before. Okay, nothing here. Let up this way then. Uh. Overseer's logs. Not important. died around here, huh? I guess the overseer was like in there rat posing on a rag. I guess they poisoned themselves or something? And then kept the door shut. They were trying to get in clearly with like chairs and why would you even try at that point? To use chairs and a broom against a vault tech door. Seems a little bit dumb? I mean, granted, you have nothing to lose, but I mean, still, I'd rather... Just not deal with that myself, personally. Just gonna do a quick sweep of this area, and then we should be good to just leave. I think I hear stuff moving around again. Stuff might have respawned. Or they didn't check everywhere up here yet, I don't know. One of the two. Blake Mitchell. Don't care about you, Blake Mitchell. I'm so tired of that single action revolver handle showing up in my goddamn loot. Bathroom, that's a bathroom. Nothing over here. For some reason, I think that there was like a stupid overseer crate somewhere around this area, but I don't think there was. I think I'm just stupid. Ooh, I heard your ass. up here. Alright, we get to leave. Ah, oh, my old home. Whenever it decides to load, I suppose. There we go. Okay. Just a bunch of 
tents out here, huh? Fine, I didn't want to loot you anyway. Come on Ah, fuck, I thought he was gonna charge me sooner. Damn it, I hit the wrong button and opened up my windows. Uh, menu. Uh, anyway. The last time I went in this area, I found a, uh, military ghoul that dropped, uh, a launch code. Or at least part of the launch code, I should say. Oh, out of knives. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, uh... Presentia was going home next? Where's home? What do you mean by that? Now we gotta go down here. Find the next journal and Welch. Goddamn nosy park rangers. Wait, so the overseer journals in Welch? What the fuck's Wotaga? Hello, mine. Okay, I'll be safe here for a moment. Hold on. Uh, map. Wotaga, Wotaga. Where is Wotaga? Where did I get this at? Dryer chemical? Investigate Wotaga. Why? Where did I hear about Wotaga? So I guess for the overseer thing, I have to go down here now. Basically, we gotta go here, here, and we can grab the uh, dig sites wherever they happen to spawn the next time we're in the area. There's a guy in my area. I don't like that. Let's go back and see what this guy's up to. That guy's doing whatever. All right, let's grab all my stuff. Ooh, hold on. Yeah, let's grab it. Excellent. All right, modify and repair. Let's see what we got here. Now that we have a uh, our upgraded thingamadoodle. Special here. Anything to increase the damage? Nope. It's already maxed. Okay. We should have the bullpup. Not bullpup. Um, whatever. Uh, let's see. Forceful grip. Increases the weight. I don't want to increase the fucking weight. That'll be fine. Um. That's fine the way it is. Submachine gun. 
What do we got for, uh, we have sights on this? How do we not have sights for this fucking machine gun, huh? Fucking little bastards. Well, I guess we'll just repair everything. Not that anything else needed repaired, but okay. Look at this. It takes three adhesive to repair this little bit of damage right there. It's so fucked up. I can't scrap this. Fuck this guy. I'll give this, give this guy for like 12 caps. How about that? I don't want to trade him, goddammit. What a silly guy. Okay. Is 20 copper the limit that I can be stored in there at a the time? Well, I guess we had to check it before we left and after we left, so... Regardless, it's been 50. Nope. Okay. Well, y'all know what we gotta do now. We ran low on our famous throwing knives, so. All right, how many we got? We have 25 now. Damn, we need a lot of fucking steel to make those. Also, we have this hollow tape to listen to. Hold on. One more thing before we're done. We'll listen to this and we'll end it. This is a volunteer training camp one. Responder Survivors Volunteer Program. Advanced Training. Camping. By Miguel Caldera. Robot Programmer Extraordinaire. Part 1. Finding the perfect camping location. Now that the world has changed, it's hard to stay safe. Used to be that camping was safe as houses. <laughs> well tell there was a strong wind, right? <laughs> These days, nothing is really safe. Even in your camp, someone might hurt you. The perfect spot doesn't matter now. It's all about your defenses. You can build near people you trust who will watch your back, or uh, build things that will watch your back for you. No problem. Remember, camps are mobile. We're all explorers now, camping in a strange land full of adventure, wonder, and danger. So, camp often, and rest a lot. Before the war, I was gonna retire and go camping. Now I can do it every day, forever. It's a dream come true. You know, do what you love, right? Now come to my camp, and I can show you some knots and framing. Then, I'll direct you on to some helpful supplies. Good luck, volunteer. Oakley Doakley. Investigate his campsite? Where would his campsite be? There? Of course. After I go all the way down here already. Right! Well. 
And that'll be all for now. I'm going to look at some other stuff here for a little bit. Um, we'll pick back up at some point and see what's going on. So, until then, everyone, catch you later. Bye-bye.